Okay, so for installation of the key switch bypass harness, um, this is a 2013. I took the seat off, pulled these plastic pieces off the sides of the tank, pulled out these two bolts for the front of the tank so I could flip it up. I will need to remove the air box so I can access the harness, which is two three millimeter bolts that are accessed through this hole in the frame right here. And there's Allen wrenches that hold the clamps on to the top of the throttle body. And then there's one bolt up here. And then the air box will pull right off. Gotta undo this plug right here. Then with the air box out of the way, you're just gonna unplug the, this cable that goes to the ignition from this plug right here inside this little cover. Unplug the ignition plug and get it out of the way and then the cable coming from the right controls here runs down here down to another cover covered plug and then just unplug that one and then grab your bypass harness and this is gonna go right in line with this plug from your switch. Plug is right here, it's gonna plug right in. And then plug the other end back in where the switch used to be plugged in at. A little bit harder to do one-handed. Uh, and then this side will plug back in where your ignition used to go inside here. And that's it, you're done. As long as we're in here, I figured I'd show on the 13 to 16 anyway, these two pins in the center of this other plug are for the clutch uh, switch bypass for the controls on the left handlebar. So if you want to be able to start it in gear without having to put it in neutral every time, you just want to connect these two pins that are actually the very center top and bottom. I used a mini fuse and just turned the, the slot sideways and it's worked great for three years now. And now with everything back together, you just simply flip the switch and everything comes on. Switch off and everything's off. Another thing I decided to do on my bike is flip this uh, control upside down. So normally the switch is up here and the starter button is down here. But then it leaves you open to accidentally shut off your bike while you're doing a trick. So I just flipped it upside down so that the on off switch is at the bottom here and it's pretty unlikely that I would hit that by accident especially the direction it goes and it's real convenient to restart the bike if I stall or anything my thumb can go right to it.